Look, it would be remiss of us to introduce the new Camry without talking about, as Matthew normally says, the elephant in the room, which is the fact that this is used so often as a, an overdrivers, I don't know, delightful cab or something like that. But the reality is this is a much better car than that. It really is. It, it really, in New Zealand, it takes the position as the number one sedan. And quite rightfully, it's, it's an all-round good sedan that really does tick a lot of the boxes. Again, the rear is quite slick. There's a body colored sort of slither of a uh, boot spoiler here. The rest is, well, it's just a rear end. The big thing is though, that the actual bonnet release has moved from here, which is in the center, to off the side here. So this is now where the camera is, which I believe from Matthew told me is quite important. So you actually get a better view when reversing. But right under here is entrance to quite a vast boot, actually 524 litres, quite a huge amount here. Well, mileage is certainly something that Camrys do a lot of. I mean, there's many around that were made before I was born and they're still going strong. So you'd expect the same with this new Camry as well. On the inside, the build quality certainly reaffirms that belief. Everything is, is nicely screwed in, nothing really shakes about. And the materials in here as well, this is probably the best Camry that they've ever done, I think. And it certainly feels that way on the inside. You have leather seats, which are heated and ventilated. The top of the dashboard is all soft. You get these nice gloss plastic and this other sort of textured material to break things up. And then some more soft stuff below. So they have put a lot of thought into the quality of this cabin not only is it built nicely it's also built with basically passengers in mind and of course customers in mind if you like so there's plenty of storage space around you get two cup holders here a little space for your key there's space for your phone in there no wireless charging though you do have plenty of usb ports and 12 volt sockets hidden just underneath here underneath the center console as well you got a heap of space there and of course a decent sized glove box too so everything's generally within arm, arm's reach and feels quite nice to touch as well another ZR specific feature is of course this dual sunroof as Dave pointed out and I've got it all the way back open and you can have the the sunroof open itself as well if you want a bit more heat to fry your head on a day like today and another ZR specific feature is of course this infotainment screen paired with the JBL audio system. So let's take a look at that. Now this infotainment screen is Toyota standard unit, something which we've become familiar with over the last few years. This is the home screen where you have the navigation, your audio input, and then of course phone connectivity. It's nice and simply laid out with all these button shortcuts, which makes it really easy for the driver's memory basically so you don't have to keep jumping into various menus to change things and um, adjust your settings everything's easy to use within arm's reach and sort of the thing that we love though the highlight here is of course this jbl logo and the audio system that comes with it it's got something like a 10 speaker audio system in here which really does sound good and you can bump it up to thump the bass if you like um or listen to some more classical stuff when you're sitting in the back it's up to you really one of the key features of course of toyota's hybrid synergy drive system is this menu here where it shows you how the engine electric motor and battery are all working together so it'll tell you whether you're recharging your battery or discharging it or kind of where the energy is flowing it's really smart and nerdy if you like that kind of stuff and if you want to know even more about how your driving is jump into the screen in front of the driver and let's take a look there so in front of the driver here well you have this leather wrapped steering wheel with plenty of buttons around here you've got these paddle shifters in front of you and then in front of that you've got the two analog gauges there for your charge and recovery meter and then of course your speed on the right in the middle that's where all the the nerdy stuff goes on if you like so there's a meter there that shows you how you've been using your fuel 
on this trip or in total and you can kind of flick through and look at various other menus if you like so how you're sitting in the lane and the kind of radio station you're listening to again you can have the energy monitor on the center screen or in front of you there and then some more settings for the safety so it's got plenty to keep you occupied now down under here in New Zealand the Camry is a popular car of choice for taxis and rideshare services so it's pretty important that the back seat should have a decent amount of space and be easy to get in and out of so firstly it's easy to get into so check that box and as you can see here there's plenty of space as well if I sit back here heaps of knee room for me I'm just under six feet so plenty of space for my legs as well and headroom is good too you do get you know plenty of space to have two people or maybe even three in the back here and a nice center armrest that drops down for your comfort now while it feels really nice to sit in the back here and have Dave drive me around everywhere I wouldn't really rate his driving five stars so it's probably best that I join him up front so let's go for a drive so the latest Camry I mean it like I said before it really doesn't deserve to be monikered with just being an Uber driver's uh, workhorse because it really is a very much a family sedan, a an executive sedan. I mean, it's just a top sedan, really. I mean, just that's sort of exemplified by the amount of space in here, the space between us, the space to the back, the headroom, the sunroof, all these things that this Camry ZR has in fact are all premium features I mean even the steering wheel is electronically adjusted you know all of that stuff is is high level yeah heated ventilated seats all that sort of stuff yes this is the top of the line I mean it does come with everything the, the maps are a little bit of a letdown I mean compared to some of the others that are out there with the likes of Google Maps as a standard but I mean it if found this road that we're driving on now and it, it it's I mean it's it's more than adequate and just it's quite a lengthy vehicle at just and well 4.9 meters long but it just seems so easy to drive it is such a such a pleasure to drive actually and despite the fact that you might think all the weight is over the front with the engine and electric motor it's balanced out nicely because the batteries are in the back you have the back seats there and all around it's a really comfortable ride and when you flick it into sport I mean don't expect a sports car but I mean it picks up nicely it, it doesn't it's not sluggish put it that way it, it feels feels like it's ready to play a little bit um, it's not a GR which is you know I don't know if they're gonna do a GR Camry you can probably tell me that but it's 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 in, it, enthusiastic is probably the way to go it, you know it's, it's the car the little car that could or rather the large car that can because of the size of it yeah true visibility amazing i mean great with this sunroof open it just floods the uh, the cabin with light mirrors are great blind spot uh lane keep assist i mean it really not only is there plenty of room for you or plenty of stuff for you to see it is really keeping such a good eye out for you as well as you just heard as well that was the lane keep assist which is ever attentive as is the um, the fuel monitoring system in this because it constantly gives you a live feed of of your efficiency or how poorly you're doing um, in terms of burning fuel <laughs> but uh, I've had it for a few days now the needle hasn't moved off full I think it's broken I want to tap it and get it going oh there it is no, no it's, it's actually just amazing it just sits right up there it's amazing we did a long drive as well in in the Camry hybrid and I mean it just seemed to use no fuel at all despite the fact that we must have done like 200 or 250 kilometers yeah that was in the SX model but yeah again they're really this is slightly heavier because it's got a few more toys on it but still emits very few gases and just sips fuel like you would not believe I've actually locked in my doors when I get near traffic lights just in case anybody drops in and says is this you on the screen but realistically i want to drive this car it's it's fun i i don't feel the that urge to just sit in the back and be driven by it it's uh it's great it's a, it's a fun drive 
and that's good to know because the Camry is this new Camry is particularly one of those cars where it's nice to drive or to be driven and you don't mind either yeah and there is plenty of plenty of space as Matthew pointed out uh, and actually <laughs> there's enough room in the boot for when he gets sick of me and just throws me in there as well brilliant So there you have it, the new Toyota Camry ZR. It's been facelifted, it's been modified here and tweaked everywhere else and stuff like that. I'm, I'm actually almost astounded to say it's actually a nice drive. It's not super amazing, but certainly not all cars have to be. This really is a great workhorse that you'd be pleased to have on your driveway. I mean, the Camry has always been exactly that. If you've got a, a list of things that you want in a car, you want to tick things off, this is the car that ticks those boxes. Yeah, a bit like us. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. It's around here somewhere. And see you next time.